Hello, my name is Nicole Hartley Bradford and I am a Rage Club space holder. And this is a Rage Club extra, especially for the mothers in my current Rage Club, but for mothers anywhere, everywhere. This comes from stories that I've been hearing about how it is for mothers and from my own memories of mothering four children myself. This is so familiar. A mother with so much on her plate children, errands, things to do, tasks on a list that never ends, and, and getting to this state of being so clogged up with unexpressed feelings that, that she is overwhelmed and just wants to lock herself away and hide under the covers until she can calm the fuck down. Now, not locking yourself away and, and going under your covers is, is definitely one one possibility and and what i'm bringing here today is another possibility that for me mm, has has other consequences than just getting back to the baseline where you can handle things and this process is the process of unmixing feelings and how it works is that you use and you can you can follow along as you listen to me and, and just give it a try and you'll discover yourself what works and what doesn't work. You know, everything I'm saying here is bullshit. Some of it might be useful. So what I do is I use my conscious anger. I, I build it up in my system and I let my energetic fingers grow beyond the ends of my physical fingers. And I scan into my body for where these, these knots, these, blocks these tangles of feelings are in my energetic and emotional body system like the pipes of this system where are the pipes clogged and i can i can sense where that is and i can use my anger to consciously push my fingers into those knots and get a hold of whatever feelings are there there'll be anger sadness fear and or maybe some joy and go into the knot and declare that one hand is getting one feeling and the other hand is getting another, like, like two different colors of spaghetti that are tangled together and each hand gets one color using my intention and my anger and I pull those apart and I pull them out of myself and I put them each on my energetic bench. Sadness, anger. And it looks something like this. <sighs> for the next layer and again pushing in scanning finding where the feelings are bunched up and pulling them apart using anger and it hurts it, it actually hurts to do it and to generate the anger right from down in my in the area of my womb and and push it up and pull it and make it work through the bones of my arms the bones of my hands pulling and separating and then when this is clear after I don't know, three, 10 goes of unmixing that I have on my energetic workbench, each of the, each pile possibly of each of the four feelings. And then the next step is to take the anger. I don't remember where I put it, but take the anger, hold onto it, look at it with my energetic eyes and say, hello, anger. You are my source for aliveness, my source for clarity, my source for having and being the boundaries that I am. I want you in my bones and push the anger into the bones. Get it in the bones. The bones, the skeleton is where anger belongs and it can live so that I have a clear, strong, solid base to operate from. And I can make sure the anger is pushed into the bones of my body. Yeah, here I am. Okay. And then fear. Hello, fear. I want you for, for my alertness, for my aliveness, for my ability to notice and notice what is what. And I want you in my nervous system where you belong. And I can put my 
my fear in through my heart in, and it will go into this, my, my whole nervous system, instead of being bunched up in my solar plexus or bunched up behind my shoulders or in my head, it can be like, oh yeah. Oh, and feel the cold electricity, the sparkle of the aliveness go through my whole body to the to the surface of my skin and even beyond, like on the hairs, so that my hairs are standing on end with this, this conscious fear that brings me so alive. And then sadness, sadness. I need you. I need you to connect. I need you to ground me. I need you to connect me with others. I need you to keep me keep me like in my body mm, and i put my sadness into my heart and let it flow into the soft tissues and feel the sadness whatever intensity it it happens at and just yeah let it let it make me soft let it make me liquid where i <laughs> built to be liquid yeah and notice if i feel sad i feel sad because i I shouted at my kids. I feel sad because I, I miss having time with them, really being to being. I feel sad because I miss my friends, my village, my partner when they're not there. I feel sad because I long for things to change. And then maybe you will have pulled out some joy. Sometimes this unconscious joy of like, hey, I did it. Hey. And it's, it's not really the kind of joy that's like, oh, angel singing it's more the kind of joy of of like ah I, I won and and sometimes it can be a, I won even though someone else lost and it can be this kind of joy but this now that the joy is unmixed from the other uh, emotions if you can put it in your heart and put it let it let it knit together the bones the soft tissues the nervous system keeps it all connected and feel the joy feel even say what it light you up. I feel joy because I did, did get a lot done. I feel joy because there was that one really beautiful moment. I feel joy because tomorrow's a new day and right now is a new start. I feel joy because I have distinctions about how to use my feelings consciously to take more radical responsibility in my life, in my relational spaces, in my work, and in my mothering. Take this process, experiment with it. As I said, if you know other conscious feelings practitioners in the making, hold space for each other to do it and cheer each other on. Walk each other through it and, yeah, and tell me how it goes. I want to hear how it goes. And if you have any questions at all, you can reach out to me. I'll put my contact information in the show notes of this video. I'm Nicole Hartley Bradford. This has been a Rage Club Extra. Goodbye for now.